Big Apple drop recently with two Mac Minis being released very soon at the end of January and early February, and two new MacBook Pros with new M2 Pro and M2 Max chips. The whole lineup is amazing, but the one that really blew me away was the Mac Mini with the M2 chip for a super low price of $599. That's $100 cheaper than what they've been charging for the minis over the last few years. And if you're an educator, you can get an extra $100 off this, making this thing $499. This is one of the best values and deals that I've seen from Apple in a really long time. So you can load this up with up to 24 gigabytes of RAM, which is going to be great for video editing and motion graphics, exporting, rendering, and you can get up to an 8-core CPU, 10-core GPU, and 16-core neural engine. The media engine in this base model mini also supports the hardware accelerated H.264, ProRes, and ProRes RAW, so you know this thing is gonna do really good with video editing and encoding your footage. If you are looking into getting into video editing or motion graphics, this is the computer to start with. Educational folks, schools, if you can buy these things at 500 bucks a pop, these are gonna be a great machine to load up on because they are going to have enough power to get you through the next few years of learning and creating. And if you feel like you're going to need a little more speed than this, check out those Mac Mini Pros, which is almost comparable to last year's MacBook Pros with the M1 Pro chip and also a lower entry point for those Mac Studios. I loaded up an M2 Mini with as much RAM as it can take, 32 gigabytes of this new unified memory, and then with that Pro Mini, you are getting more cores for your CPU, practically double the graphics processing cores, and the same 16 for your neural engine. So if you've already got your feet wet with video editing, you're starting to shoot with 4K, you're really getting deep with your edits and motion graphics, check out this Mac Mini Pro. We have both of them coming in next week, so definitely hit subscribe so you can be the first to check out some speed tests that we're going to be doing in Premiere, After Effects, and DaVinci Resolve. So a very exciting time for people who want to get into creating media. Ten years ago, we didn't have anything like this. We were sitting around twiddling our thumbs, waiting for exports to finish. And now it's all in this little tiny package. It's just insane. So good job, Apple, for finally bringing some value back to the masses and not making us pay an arm and a leg for it. Check out the channel next week as we're going to have a bunch of this new gear rolling in the door and we're going to be testing it thoroughly. And I would love to share the results with you. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope to see you next week. Take care.